you for your cooperation. So we are on the board of the plane. We have really good spots. We have really good spots. We have really good spots. You can see there is a remote here for the screens in front of us and uh, then we just watch a lot of movies well not a lot because my boyfriend slept a lot but I could not sleep on the way there <laughs> yeah. and this was the menu for for us, as you can see, it's in English also, which is nice. And here is our uh, food menu. As you can see, it's in English, but also in Chinese, I guess. Because the company that we flew with uh, is Catway Pacific and it's Chinese company, so probably. Become trapped in your seat. Please don't adjust your seat. And ask our crew to help you. You can place any small items underneath the seat in front of you. This is a non-smoking flight. Smoking or using e-cigarettes anywhere in the aircraft is against the law. Your seatbelt fastens and unfastens like this. To adjust it, pull the strap until tight. We also have seat belts available for children under two, and seat belts should be worn whenever the seat belt sign is switched on. We recommend keeping it fastened even if the sign is off in case of unexpected turbulence. Oxygen masks will drop automatically if they're needed. Pull the mask down firmly, place it over your nose and mouth, adjust it to fit, and breathe normally. Oxygen will flow without the bag inflating. And ensure that your own mask is fitted correctly before helping others. Your life jacket location is shown on the safety card, which is in your seat pocket. To use the life jacket, place it over your head, loop the strap around your waist and fasten the buckle. Then pull the strap firmly to tighten it. Only inflate your life jacket when leaving the aircraft. To inflate it, simply pull the red toggle down firmly or blow into the tube. It also has a whistle and a light.
this is our first meal in the plane. Such a nice view. And we have also we had also the option to look in the same time on the screen in front of us to see how it is seen with the camera underneath the plane, the view, as you can see. Nice, right? Thank you, bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. No worries. And we finally arrived in Tokyo at Narita Airport which is pretty uh, outside of Tokyo actually we discover later on but uh, this was a good option for us back then so we've had been in the plane like for 16 hours and with a stop in Hong Kong and we are ready to discover our journey in Japan going to find out where which way we have to go because we first wanted to go to change the money um, because the uh, a visa that we received before leaving uh, to Japan was <coughs> that the best option is to change to exchange money at the airport because it's the best rate that you can get and also at the airport we also bought our GR passes that uh, is uh, something only for touristic so if you have a Japanese passport you won't get that only with a foreigner passport and here we were waiting for the train uh, at the station for Narita Express because that Say was hello. the first time that we took to go to our hotel so as you can see with our luggages and we are patiently waiting for the train as you can see there is the man waiting next to us and uh, he is just a uh, worker from the train station that were gonna help me get into the train with the ramp that he has next to him and one thing that you need to do when you get to the station as a wheelchair user and a foreigner wheelchair user is to say the word slope because we said a lot of times like assistance but they could not understand uh, but with the word slope they get it immediately what you mean And here our train Narita Express is coming as you can see and uh, the person who gonna help me uh, get into the train in uh, the car that is accessible for wheelchair as you gonna see a sign but uh, I didn't film uh, how uh, he would uh, help me with the ramp because it was my first time so I was not sure how things will go but in a future video you're gonna see that
We need to go to Tokyo Big Sight. We have this. The J. Yes. Big Ben. Yes. Tokyo Sight for the Tokyo Big Sight. Yes. It's not with J or Pass, no. Oh, okay. No, okay. This is okay. ticket. Yes. Okay. This is ticket. This is receipt. This. Okay. okay. As you can see, disabled toilets, but separately for women and men. Here is uh, first the man that had announced via his uh, radio uh, device that uh, the train has to stop because someone in a wheelchair has to come inside. I think so. Uh, I don't speak Japanese, but I think so. And he is uh, patiently waiting that the train stops and then he will gonna put the ramp for me down so I can get into the train. So this is how people with a disability are helped to get into the train in Japan. Uh, but my camera fell when I went into the ramp. So, in this part of the video I want to show you the room. Um, I didn't show you uh, right when we arrived. This is our second day here at this hotel in Tokyo. Um, because uh, yesterday I was really tired after the flight, after the so long flight. And it was also my first time flying so long, so I didn't know what to expect about the jet lag and all the things I could not really sleep in the plane I normally cannot sleep in the plane but after so many hours I could just fall asleep a little bit in the plane and um, so I was really tired so yesterday after we finally arrived at the hotel after an adventure to come to the hotel from the airport um, we uh, just changed uh, we didn't unpack anything just put everything uh, uh, just changed quickly washed a little bit and uh, went to sleep and I was the second uh, moment I was gone the moment I uh, laid uh, down and it was an adventure to get uh, from the airport to the hotel because the moment we exited the station from the airport from the Narita airport we took the Narita Express first and afterwards we got no internet because our SIM card that we bought it has only internet until we activate it it took some time because we still needed to download an app to be able to activate the sim card for the internet so that we we had to do that when we arrived at the hotel so till the moment we arrived at the hotel we didn't have any internet so we didn't know which train or what bus or something we have to take so it was like uh, asking people and the people in Japan, they're really friendly, no doubt of that, but they are not so good in English. So in the end, we communicated on a way because we downloaded it up from the Google Translate and uh, that was handy, but uh, 
it was funny to communicate with them and in the end they, they, they really help us like they stayed with us till the train come that uh, we said we need to get there we don't know which train or something we need to get but they stayed with us till the train came and uh, they helped us inside that's wonderful but anyway it took some time uh, and also we had to change the station uh, because on one station apparently that we had to took it was an accident and I was like okay okay but luckily there is another opportunity like uh, to take another train and yeah you go to another station but yeah finally you still get to the same place and uh, yeah I wanted to show you the room now uh, first of all behind me is the door and uh, the orange and blue sticker that you can see is for cleaning the room because they will only clean the room uh, if you request that so if you put the blue sticker is it uh, you, you ask for cleaning and the other one is yeah that you don't need cleaning so let me show you let's start i'm gonna turn the camera so we're gonna start with the uh, bathroom the only thing that i really find it badly most of the times in hotels but this is no this is uh, even uh, harder for wheelchair user is the carpet because it's really hard to roll on the carpet Yes, yeah, so let's see. This is the door of the bathroom. And as you can see, so there is the toilet. The toilet is really nice because it has a lot of functions there to clean uh, yourself like you can see there there is also a small explanation in English and the nice thing is that the toilet is always warm the toilet seat always so here is the sink that's a bit small i find it because if i want to go underneath with my wheelchair i cannot go so i'm yeah i i, I am basically a bit tall for the japanese culture i think Let's see And um, most of the bathrooms in Japan uh, that are so-called adapted, they have a bathtub. And it is nicely with the bars on the wall to, to help yourself and so, but I myself cannot manage actually on my own this so i would like a rolling shower but they don't have so let's go to the room now so the room has two separate beds uh, I didn't know about this, I didn't ask about this, but apparently this bed is an adapted bed because it can go up and down, so it has a remote to be able to uh, move the bed. You can probably hear on the background uh, uh, the TV uh, that is on a uh, yeah, Japanese uh, channel, probably. So... This is how it looks. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, yes, as you can see here on the back, you get the uh, pajamas also. So So this is how the room looks and uh, yeah not not that bad uh, I can actually say that the sizes are smaller than other adapted toilets that I've been to and that it's pretty common here because they you also pay on the space so if the room is bigger then you pay more also uh, so that's also with adapted uh, rooms, uh, they don't uh, make a difference that is an adapted room for someone with special needs. They just charge for the size, some kind of. So um, yeah, I think that's it for now and I keep you updated with my journey in Japan.